How's it going, everyone? Today's topic is Sepulchre Master Law Sector, dealing with champions of Barrier and Unstoppable with a threat of solar. If you're wondering where this law sector is located, you can just go to your map over here, set your waypoint. Whenever you zone in, you'll you'll land over here in Quagmire. Make your way all the way over, and you'll, you can just um, run. You can have this law sector unlocked for you. If you already ran it before uh, on normal, and you can go and go into your flag here, run a legendary master. The only difference between the two is that one has uh, more champions, one has less. And the master one really isn't that difficult if you're good at dealing with champions. If you're having issues, run an old legend, get the hang of it, and then go into master. There's really not much of a diff uh, difference. Power level, I would ignore it. You can do it kind of whatever. Um, the higher power level would be recommended, but it's not it'll, it, it just you're, it's not a huge difference. If you've never ran it before, go down this pathway all the way down there, just call it, follow the corridor, uh, and then you can run it on normal, come back up the flag, and then you can start that up. For our build today, we're using Void. So we'll be for, we're focusing with Cataclysm, Healing Rift, Keep Us Alive, Pocket Singularity, which they had another melee, but still we have. Uh, Vortex Grenade, because it pairs up really well with our exotic gauntlets, which we'll go over. Uh, feeding, feed the Void aspect and Chaos Accelerant, these two go hand in hand very well with having big Vortex Grenades, as we want our grenades to be spamming all day long. So um, the, we have to charge it up, it'll extend the duration and the size. Uh, and then feed the void here when we defeat anything with our abilities, which will be our grenades, we'll get devour. So our devour will come active all the time as long as you're killing. Basically, you'll just use your grenade to kill anything, any red mobs, any you can use big, you can do it on a boss, whatever. The longer it lingers on a target, the more cooldown it'll come back. But also, if you kill a lot of targets, it'll come back. So helps out a lot. Undermining here, weakens targets, does you do 15% more damage. You know, can't go wrong with that. If you get kills with your grenades, it gives instability, which gives you volatile rounds, which then allows you to do anti-barrier and do a lot more damage on impact. So it gets just more damage. You two, these two just basically increase your damage with just grenades. Uh, lingering, increase the duration, which allow this ability cooldown to come back faster with your controverse hold exotic uh, gauntlets. And then Echo of Obscurity is kind of my favorite one here, as it gives you, uh, whenever you finish her, uh, you can go invisible, which allows you to kind of get out of sticky situations. So if you're ever running around with the glaive, as you will in this run, uh, probably with those uh, <laughs> big ass ogres, uh, you'll need to sometimes use a finisher and then you go invisible and you can allow yourself to reset or um, kind of pick, get yourself in a good position and then go back into the and get back into the fight. Or sometimes you can run away, pop a healing rift, and then um, once you're ready, go back into the fight. Or so you can peek your head around it as you need to. If you want to run something different, you can always run um, like uh, Echo of uh, Sustenance here or ces cessation, sorry, echo of cessation. Uh, it allows to do a bunch of, it makes everything volatile around you, so it allows you to do more damage. Um, and then you can also use uh, Starvation, which will be picking up Void Breaches and Orb Power, and Orbs of Power gives you Devour. Um, so with our build, we'll be focusing on our Controverse Hold here, which will allow us to, whenever you um, charge your grenades, it'll give you damage reduction, which is like 25% damage reduction. And then it also returns grenade energy on hit. Um, so you're basically, your grenades are gonna be up all the time. But with that, um, with with that, with you're using firepower because you're using grenade spam, that's where all your orbs are gonna come up. So if you want to use that different mod, you can always use that and get more devour active if you're having issues with keeping devour going. Um, but I would recommend for this build to have ashes to assets and then void siphon on. If you're running wish ender, which is gonna be our weapon here, you can change that to kinetic. But again, op optional. I'm running two void weapons, so void siphon will do just as well. Uh, but double ashes to assets paired with our grenade kickstarts with our grenade controversy hold here, and you're gonna have a sweet, sweet time throwing grenades all day long. You could basically throw a grenade, hide around the corner if you really wanted to, to play it safe. Wait for it to come back, throw a grenade, come back, it, it'd be really quick. So you can honestly sit back, relax, use your wish hinder, throw grenades all day long, and uh, you just kill everything passively. So same thing with unstoppable champions, you hit them with your glaive and the third grenade, and it'll do most of their damage until they're you know taking reduced damage. Hit them with the glaive again, the, the grenade's still gonna be there. <laughs> so it kind of helps out a lot. Uh, for your resistance, solar resist actually matches really well. Boss damage and a lot of those mobs do um, kind of a big threat. The second champion room, uh, the the hunter uh, champion, or I guess uh, acolyte or whatnot, uh, will do solar damage, and that's kind of the biggest threat of the whole run, I would say. Everything else is kind of easy. Uh, and then you can run optionally a void reserve, or if you want to run different resists, like an arc resist, you can. I like having void reserve because uh, more ammo is always more fun with a rocket launcher. Everything else here is kind of default. We like to have our grenades, abilities up time, more armor charges to go with our grenade kickstarts, and then gathering more uh, orb orbs give us more or, or give us more armor charges, which will go to a grenade kickstart also. So, uh, hunter resilience, hunter discipline, weapons are going to be wish into anti barrier. You can run anything if you wanted. Also, you can run anything else if you'd like for anti barrier, like an arbalist or such, or an auto rifle. And then I'm using glaive as I like using the glaive. 
uh, to take out unstoppables you can do most you can literally do most of the run besides the advantage barriers with wishinder so you barrier with wishinder you can switch everything to the glaive and do all of it with grenade and glaive and you'll be set and then rocket launcher is always nice to have just extra damage i always like to match up uh, my weapons to my class that way they match up they kind of pair really well so if you avoid weapon they do volatile rounds right the glaive happens here destabilizing rounds um so it gives you makes everything more volatile so it means more damage you're taking so um and it also makes the anti-barrier to save like rounds on this thing also um i don't really have one that's i don't have a void rocket launcher that doesn't have a destabilizing round at the moment um so a lot of volatiles a lot of explosions a lot of things going everywhere so a little bit of chaos a little bit of fun uh but let's go and get into this it should be a nice clean run should be a quick run i would say sepulcher is one of my favorites um so it should be about four or five minutes really quickly you can do it even faster if you get the hang of it uh, but as always, you guys have been amazing with like and support, uh, liking and subscribing. I have to like, think 50 subscribers now, so you guys are awesome. So I appreciate all the support. All right, here we go. Just got a grenade going here. Take out the front guy. Hit him. Perfect. Finish everyone else off with a grenade here. And we can move on. Grab the ammo you need. Fill them off. We're gonna focus, uh, pick one of your sides. You can go left or right. If there's no preference. I would just say make sure you get a rocket off early so you can get high damage before that shield goes active. Perfect, broke that. Okay, now we can focus right side. If you want to, you can focus all the mobs or you can go right to the champion. Your preference is up to you. Everything should die in the corner. Now we have just the barrier champion. Our grenade will be sitting on top of him. Unless he moves like that. Here goes barrier, and then rocket. So get him down one more before he does his animation. Awesome. And if you need to, just use your glaive to kind of mess with the wizard. He'll stop casting and stuff. So if you ever like, oh, he's doing too much damage, he's moving too much, you can keep him in this circle. Just glaive him, and he'll kind of won't do anything to you. Hello. Oh, I whipped. No. I whipped. Okay, finisher always makes it easy. Let's see if I can get this guy to stop moving. There we are. Now he's going to do a shield. Perfect. I'm going to mess this guy up. Don't want him getting out too far. looking for the, the dot above his head that means we can do the finisher and we're done now we have the big threat of two unstoppables one champion in the middle here so you're gonna what i'd recommend is you rush this this uh unstoppable over here use your grenade super should be able to just take this guy out with a finisher and then you can turn to the other guy to the left All right you remember you got stealth with obscurity so you don't have to worry about uh you know dying to things if you need but you got a shield you can sit here all day with it you got the grenades you're not really any danger you can use a finisher um, you can always stealth out your healing circle and then go back to just killing like the champion with your grenades you won't be able to do anything to you for most part so just take out any acolytes or any mobs that are kind of messing you up find him shoot him from range if you stun him or get him kind of a uh, uh, jolted then he'll what he'll do is he'll stop passing his abilities but he'll kind of run at you and try to melee at you so if you ever jolt him with any of your abilities or whatnot just be careful that he's gonna mess you up so we're gonna do this finisher and then execute there we are now we're all done here we can move on to the next room so i made sure not to use my heavy as much so i have it for this last room should be able to double grenade the boss if as long as he doesn't move too much and then just hit him with one or two rockets and he should be done with. Or you can use it on barrier, because you are void, so it will do anti-barrier as long as you have volatile active. And you will have volatile active with all these uh, thrall kills, so just throw out your grenade as much as you can. If you want to, you can just super the, the boss. All right, he's done. Easy peasy. And then you can just take out everything else. So I would make sure you focus on the little mobs until you get a good angle with the barrier. Right, he comes out in hiding with this guy. I saw him do his little stutter thing, so I want to make sure I got him. One more shot, he should be dead. And then I'm gonna focus the right side here. That guy's volatile, so we're good with that. 
Awesome. Just throwing grenades around all day. See if we can get this guy first taken care of. Awesome. One rocket. Two rocket. Don't know where that guy is, but alright. We right, saw the finisher, so we want to get that done. And now technically your run's over. So you killed all the champions, killed the boss, you get your platinum. Turn it in, and you can walk out, go back, reset it, whatever you'll do, collect your loot, um, and you know, you should be all set. So, quick four minute run, shouldn't be that bad. Void does really well here with grenade spam. But if you like my content, please uh, like and subscribe. You guys have been amazing. My channel's been growing really, really fast. Uh, keep up the support. Uh, and then, uh, as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.